This is a quick explanation of how to process your footage before editing. When you get footage back from Telecine, it'll be transferred at 29.97 frames per second, instead of the 24 frames per second which you shot in. This means that the Telecine machine has added extra frames which didn't exist in your source material and should be removed before you edit. If you compare the image on the right to the image on the left, you'll notice that it has horizontal streaking artifacts left over from the added extra frames. The image on the right has been run through a process called reverse telecine, which remo removes those extra frames and gets rid of those annoying artifacts. To process your video, open Compressor. We're going to make a new preset, which runs the reverse telecine process. From the settings window, click on the search box and type 422. Click on the first item, Apple ProRes 422, then click the small button with the plus. Clear out the search box by clicking the, right, the gray X in the right hand corner. Scroll down to the custom folder and locate Apple ProRes 422. Select it. Then in the next window over, the inspector, rename your setting Reverse Telecine. Click on the third tab over, which is Frame Controls. Uncheck the gear to get out of automatic mode and turn frame controls on. And from the deinterlace menu, pick Reverse Telecine. Click Save. Now that you have a setting created, you can reuse it anytime. If you have more than one clip to process, go ahead and import them now to the batch list. Click the Add File button and locate the clips that you want to process. Take the reverse telecine setting and drag it onto your clips. If you're converting your clips directly off the DVD which you got back from the telecine process, you'll need to tell Compressor to save the movie files someplace else. Do that by going to the target menu, destination, then pick other, and specify the project folder on your hard drive where you want to save the new reverse telecine clips. Click the Submit button, click Submit again, and your clips will begin processing. Once this process is complete, then you can import your new reverse telecine clips at 24 frames per second and edit with them in Final Cut. When you add clips to the timeline in Final Cut, Final Cut will ask if you want to update the sequence settings to match the format of the clip that you're adding. It's important to edit in the same resolution and frame rate of the source material that you're adding to the timeline, so click Yes. You're all set to edit away.